Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Hey, guys. How are you? All good? Really good. How was your weekend? Boring. Oh, boring. Why, Myrna? I just, uh, mm. Oh, because you didn't have a class with me? Cruise is boring. <laughs> <laughs> I only, uh, uh, I, I don't know how to say. I don't know. I, I only was uh, at, at my house. So I don't You only I, stayed home. Yeah, I, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. I repeat, I just stayed home. I just stay home. Very, very good. I just stayed and not a eh, stayed. Oh, yeah, that's right. Stayed. Yes, I just stayed home. Oh, that's that's nice. Okay. That's good. So you just um watch TV or what do you do? Yeah, and I I made homework. Oh, you did your homework? Yeah, I All did right. homework. So okay. that's for me. Right, that's that's really really cool by the way can you do, do me a favor guys can you tell me if you hear my fan or not are you hearing my fan or or is it good no it's good all right all right very good guys very good yeah i think there is some sort of uh noise cancellation oh there you go Anyway, so uh, it's good to have you back. Um, can you hear me, guys? Can you hear me well? Or it's, it's just guys I'm asking because I'm I I uh, I got uh, I got I got uh, different headphones this time. So everything good? All right, very good, guys. Do me a favor. I turn on the cameras, guys. Okay. Um, today's topic, guys, well, it's going to be the last topic. Um, we're also going to be going over the platform, guys. So we have a, we have a lot of things to cover today, okay? Um, and with that, guys, being said, it's very important, guys, that you turn on your cameras and pay attention, guys, because so we can get started. All right, Alejandro, welcome, Alejandro, Janet, Jocelyn, um, Luis, Miguel. Nice to see you. Guys, did you all fi finish the platform? Okay, did you yes. did you get one hundred in everything? No, in my case, no, my case, not did you. Okay, right. right. So we're gonna. I have a problem. I have a problem with one or two. Hidden. Okay, all right. So you had a problem with one or two. Okay. What about you, uh, Jocelyn, Miguel, and Andrew? How are you I doing with guess the platform? We have the same problem in the platform. All right, don't worry. Um, so we're going to take the last 15 minutes. We're, no, I don't think we're going to take 15 minutes. We're going to take the last the last uh, 10 minutes to go over the platform and the answers, okay? Sounds good? Yes? Okay, okay. More, right. more, more time. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I think you're going to have, I mean, you're going to have the class recorded. So in case, you know, you... If you want to watch the answers again, you can, you can watch it. No, I'll give you enough time, guys. I promise you, I'll give you enough time. Okay. All right. Anyways, Jocelyn, how's everything today? You look pretty excited, like every day. <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't feel very good. No, I don't know. Okay. I get in flu or or something. Oh, you're feeling sick. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for thank you for being here. Um, yeah, yeah, guys. A lot of people are getting you know the flu are coming down with the flu. That is crazy. Um, so guys, by the way, today is our 16th day. So no class tomorrow or ever. No, I, I'm not sure guys, I, I'm probably gonna have your next module if you behave well, I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, there is that that too, right? Anyways guys, um, so you wanna go over the platform first, the platform first, or do you wanna start with the grammar and see the platform at the end? What do you want? 
whatever you want. Okay, all right. That that was a fake. You, you had a fake option because I was gonna choose. <laughs> I was gonna be the one choosing either way. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you at the end, guys. Okay. So, anyways, all right. So let's get started, guys. Um. So we were gonna talk about future perfect, right? Right. All right. Let's jump. Yes, sir. Now, guys, the future perfect, I told you, it's one of the most, it's not hard, this is, you know, well, it, it is kind of hard to make sense of it if, if we don't have the right examples, you know. So anyways, we're talking, you know, how to, um, you know, we were talking about predicting, predicting the future, right? With Will, we're talking about simple, um, you know, the future tenses, et cetera, right? Now, now regarding the future, perfect guys. All right. Every time that you see, every time that you see the word perfect here, like these right here, perfect. Right? This means, guys, okay, that you will have either the auxiliary have or has or or perhaps you know had, right? But there is always that auxiliary, guys, in the perfect tenses, okay? So um, let's see. Um, Janet, help me read, please. Uh, future pet perfect. In English grammar, the future perfect perfect is a verb from the express action completed by a specific time in the future. The future perfect is formed by combining will have or shall have with a past participle. For example, I will have completed a road draft of the chapter for by Friday. Okay, right. Let's work at that pronunciation, but uh, well done, okay. So guys, all right. So future perfect is used guys to talk about a completed action by a specific time in the future, okay? All right, so write that down, guys, okay? Because that's gonna be very important later on, okay? So, um, so let's see, right? So, so uh, what else do we have here, guys? Okay, what is what else is different than than any other future tense? This right here. The use, the use of yes, exactly, past participles, right? Past participle verbs. Okay. All right, so so how does this make sense, guys? Because you know we have like for example, guys, the the let's talk about run. Okay, what is the the simple past form of run? Run, run, okay, ran, guys, ran. Okay, it's ran, right? The simple past form is ran, and what is the past participle? Run. All right, the past participle is run, right? So remember, guys, okay, we're talking about past tense, right? And we're talking about a past participle, guys. Right? All right, whatever, guys. I know that you can understand, right? Very good. So you're talking about the past and you're talking about the past participle. Now, how is it that we're talking about the past participle if we're talking about the future? Is it possible? Is it possible to do that? <laughs> well, it is, right? That's why we have a topic, right? Dedicated to that. So it is possible, guys, but, but, but we'll see, guys. We'll see, okay? Now, notice, guys, that also this, this, uh, this tense, guys, is um, not used 100% of the times, okay? So this tense is actually very rarely used. It's almost, uh, well, I use it, you know, we, people use it without even noticing, you know, but, but it's not so commonly used, okay? All right, so, so notice that, not even in Spanish, guys, we have it in Spanish, you know? What would be the future perfect in Spanish? What do you think? What would be the future perfect in Spanish?
Oh, no idea. Okay. Yes, Irina. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Well, in Spanish, we have uh, two, I, I think. Uh, for example, I will say the phrase in Spanish, teacher. Por ejemplo, okay. lo, voy a, lo voy a tener completado. Pues el, el trabajo, okay. lo voy a tener completado mañana. Exactly, right? So, yes, guys, we do have it in Spanish as well. All right. Very good. Yes, thank you very much, Irina. Okay, that is that is right, okay? See, right? We're combining the future and we're using a past participle. So, same thing here, okay? So, do my favor, guys, write down the structure. This is how you create, I'm sorry, all right, let's go back. This is how you create sentences in future perfect, okay? Right? So I'll give you one minute, guys, to finish writing down the structure, and we're gonna move on from there. All right, very good, guys. All right, do you have the structure? All right, very good. So, so let's play with the structure a little bit, guys. All right, let's let's uh, bring up the whiteboard here. All right, very good. So we're gonna play Pictionary again, guys. Before before we end the class, guys, we're gonna play Pictionary. Now. Um, According to the structure that we got here, okay, what, what is the structure? Um, Alejandro, what, what's the structure? How do I make, a, how do I create? Uh, we need the, to be better, but in the future, it'd be like he will, or will have, will okay, have. Well, what's the first part of the structure? Um, the subject. Okay, right. So, okay, let's let's go with future perfect, right? Oh, class. We'll so, have yeah, the subject. Content. Okay, the subject. What else? We'll have. We'll have. Class. We'll have. Okay, can I ha can I say will has? How has? Okay, no. so you so you say has no. have or has? No, because it's, it's a. An auxiliary, so we can... exactly right. We'll have guys. Okay, so this doesn't change. We'll have plus what else? Plus the past participle of the main verb. Plus the past participle. Okay, right. Very good. So, how would you create a sentence? How would you create your first? How would you create your first sentence? Jocelyn. All right, Jocelyn, so all right, let's let's create a sentence out of this. Uh, but let's describe. Let's describe this person, okay? Tell me what this person will have done or will have accomplished by the time he gets home, okay? It's a creepy dude, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good, guys. So anyways, okay, so <laughs> tell me, right? So what would this person, okay? So so let's let's talk about this person, okay? So um, give me a sentence. That's, what's the name of this guy, guys? How do we call them? <laughs> Let's call him Coronaberto, right? All right so let, let's talk about Coronaberto, okay? So tell me, Jocelyn, um, give me a sentence about Coronaberto. Um, Coronaberto will have... Um... Let's start with the <laughs> subject. Okay. 
I, I can't hear you if you're talking. E? Nope. Guys, can, no. you, can you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I muted. I muted them. I, I'm sorry, uh, Joseph. That was me. I'm sorry. What is it, Joseph? Um, Corona Berto will have. Um, I'm thinking. Um, Study. Work. Uh, <laughs> It's giving you a lot of examples. Sorry. Simple class. Now it's not simple past, guys. Who said simple past? It's not simple past. Uh, will have finished his travel to home. Finished his travel. Well, he will finish traveling, okay? All right, let's do it like this, okay? All right, so notice, take a look at this sentence, guys, okay? Let's erase the ugly coronavirus, all right? It's his, his dog. <laughs> all right, anyway, so uh, let's analyze this, guys, okay? So coronavirus will have traveled. What do you say? Will, well, we'll have traveled. Traveled what? She said finished. Oh, finished traveling, right? Very good. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, so take a look at this, guys. Okay, let's 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 take a look at a timeline. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Remember to meet yourselves. All right. So, all right. Let's look at let's look about a timeline, guys. Okay. Uh, uh, this is gonna be the future. This is gonna be the past. And this is gonna be the present. Okay. All right. When I say, guys, Corona Verto, Corona Verto will have finished traveling. Okay, I have to specify, guys. I have to give a specific time. Okay. So I have to say, you know, Corona Verto will have finished. Let's do this. Okay, Corona Verto, or he. All right, let's change the key. He will have finished traveling before I arrive home, you know? All right, so now I'm giving a, giving a specific time, guys, okay? So here, guys, when we when we say, you know, he will finish traveling, okay, we're not giving a specific time. Here, guys, we're always talking in the future, right? So let's say that this happens here in the future, you know? We have two events, right? So if I say, guys, he will have finished traveling before I, ever, I arrive home, what event will happen first? What do you think, Sonia? What event will happen first? Go ahead. Oh, Sonia, all right, very good. Um, okay. Oh, there you go, okay. So tell me, all right. So what comes first, okay? So what is the event number one and what is the event number two? The present? No, okay, when uh, I say he will have- home? Well, okay, so what is arrive home? Does it happen, is, is that the event number one or the event number two? Number one? Is the event number two? All right, so, so this is, okay, arrive home okay so you say that this is gonna be right here arrive home right and you th so do you think that the event number one is finished traveling is that right yes and you're absolutely sure Traveling, okay. All right, so guys, okay. Is this right, guys? So, so first of all, first of all, okay. My, I will, you know, this person will finish traveling, and then I will arrive home. Is that the order of events? Yes. Yes. All right. That is correct, guys. Okay. So notice, okay, we're giving a specific time in the future. 
so this event will it, will it continue or will it be over? Will it continue, guys? It will be over, guys. Okay. So this is, guys, this is what uh, Future Perfect talks about. All right. Let's have another example. Okay. All right. Let's all right. Let's talk about Cheyenne, guys. Okay. <laughs> so. Chayang until the, until the end of the module. Okay, yep, exactly, right? So you don't forget. All right, so give me an example on uh, Cheyenne, guys. What uh, what can you tell me about Cheyenne? A certain action, guys, in the in the future, okay? Miguel, what do you think? Cheyenne what? Cheyenne will have? Mm -hmm. uh, sang his last song song okay his last song before end the module before ending you don't say before end guys before in a journey okay for before ending ending the, ending the module very good okay so let's do the same dynamic guys okay alejandro what happens first what is the event number one um cheyenne singing his last song <laughs> so you think okay you think that okay uh singing the last all right chan will have songs okay so singing right let's let's call it singing right so um, singing comes first and then what and then the module will finish or, oh, I, I'm sorry, guys. I, for some reason, I wrote this twice, okay? Before ending the module, okay? All right, so before ending the module, okay? So ending, all right, ending module. Okay, very good, okay? So here, guys, in this case, right? I'm saying, and, and I missed another L here. I'm saying, guys, that Cheyenne, all right? The first action that we'll see is Cheyenne singing, right? before and the second action will be ending the module so before we get to the second action guys cheyenne will have song okay and surprise surprise guys i brought cheyenne today so he can sing now no that's okay right no um <laughs> that would have been crazy huh no um but this is guys okay this is this is exactly what we mean here right two two um two endings right all right, another example, okay? Uh, let's see. We can say this, okay? Alejandro's. Are you married, Alejandro? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, oh, right. okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, no, I mean, Alejandro played this. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, so we can say Alejandro will have met his wife before we bring Cheyenne, all right? <laughs> all right, very good. Okay, so again, guys, all right, let's use the timeline, see? So two events, guys, okay, a specific time in the future, an event before another one in the future, right? So what comes first, guys? What is the first event and what is the second event? One, two. What is the first one? Uh, will have met his wife okay okay so we'll have met his wife before right we bring Cheyenne okay so this is number one guys right so this is number one and this is number two okay very good can I say can I say like this guys can I say all right let's say um <clears throat> And I say Mirna will have graduated from college after 10 years. <laughs> all right. So, uh, <laughs> all right, guys. So what do you think about this, guys? Okay, what, what event happens first? So remember, not... So, it, it, like, the event that happens first, guys, not necessarily needs to be the one we write first, okay? So, 
Louis, what event happens first here? Well, first of all, what are the two events? Let's let's do it step by step. All right, let's identify the two events. What are the two events that we have? For me, uh, the the first event is ten ten years, and second is will have graduate from we'll college. Have graduated, not graduated. graduated. Great. Okay, so 10 college. years, okay, 10 years. Okay, guys, notice this, okay? So here, guys, up to this point, now I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm specifying a specific amount of, of years, right? I'm, I'm specifying time. So here, guys, we have 10 years, okay? Right? And what will happen, guys? She will graduate, okay? Event number one, guys, is graduating, right? Okay. I'm sorry. So... Does he have so what comes first? Ten years or graduating? I'm sorry. I I uh so is it ten years guys? Number one or graduating? What is it guys? What comes first? Uh, we'll have graduated. Ten years, guys, okay? Nice. Ten years, ten years is coming first, okay? All right, and then graduated. All right. Now notice that the first thing that I wrote here is graduated, guys. But I said after, okay. So you have to take 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 a look at at, at the uh, at these words right here. You know, after, before, okay, by the time, okay. So you have to take a, take a look at those time references. All right. Does it make sense, guys? All right. Very good. So do my favor, guys. I want. All right. Um, I'll give you guys 10 minutes so you can, uh, give me your, uh, five and five guys. So I need five sentences from each of you. You're going to work in couples. Each of you is going to give me 10 sentences. Okay. So you're going to give me 10 sentences in, 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 in future perfect. And the other person is going to give me 10 sentences in future perfect too. Okay. I mean, I mean, I mean five and five guys, I'm sorry, five sentences. One of you in five sentences, the other person in total is going to be 10, okay? All right, then after this, we're going to see questions. How to make questions in Future Perfect. Got it? All right, very good, guys. So let's, let's work together. All right, let's go. I'll do, do it in your notebook, guys, okay? And then I'll, I'll ask you. Good. A little tired. Me too. It was a very tired day today. Yeah, Me it's too. Monday, right? Me too. <laughs> yeah. It was a, a hard Monday for me. So well, you work you, you study, right? Mirna? Yeah, I'm starting. But I'm not starting. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean God. you're studying but you're not studying i'm online so for covid and in my my health school uh, it's um building a, a roof so we are not uh, going to the oh you're you're studying from from your house yeah okay all right gotcha well keep at it good job Any questions, girls? Uh, can, can you share the screen about the structure on WhatsApp? Yes, absolutely. Hold on. You don't, you don't have it in your notebook? I asked you to write it down, guys. I'll send it, but it should be in your notebook, too. All right, hold on. Hold on. All right. 
right. Oh, that's, hold on, never mind. I sent it to a different group. Hey, the structure is will plus have. There you go. I sent the structure to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Right, subject plus will have, okay. Um, yes. Yes. Right. So tell me, uh, is there any, do you have any question regarding how to create sentences in future perfect? You got it. Yeah. Good. Uh, the next year, uh -huh. I will have um, I I will have been on my forties. Okay. Okay. Not not quiet. Okay. All right. Um. Next year, I will have turned forty. That's what you. That's something you can say. Ah. Okay. The next year, I will have turned forty. Turned forty. Forty. Yes. All right. So, so continue following the structure. All right. Uh, remember that you have to give two events, you know, in the future, right? So you have to talk about the first event and then the second event. Okay. Just like the we, examples that I gave you. We need use after and we need to before. use to use after and before. Yeah, you can use before or after or by the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can use time okay. expressions, right? Yes. Excellent. Four okay. ten. Okay. Ten o'clock. Okay. Uh, it, David, it, it, it's correct. It is correct to say, uh, Janet, we have slept before ten o'clock. Yeah, you can say Janet will have slept before ten o'clock. Okay. Yes. We'll have gone, you, you, but it's better if you say Janet will have gone to sleep. Gone, gone to sleep. sleep. Gone to sleep. Gone, gone yes. to sleep. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Gone to sleep. Gone to sleep, yes. Right. Have gone. Gone we'll have to gone sleep. sleep. Yeah, we'll have gone to sleep, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Recording in progress. Okay. Okay. Did you copy me? Okay. Your brother will mm -hmm. have eating. Eating. When coming my house. Yeah. Or take their his dinner, right? Uh, did you copy it's me? No. Right. Uh, my brother will have eaten or yeah. eaten, eaten uh, mm -hmm. when he comes to my house. Oh, at my house. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. The, it's okay right now. Okay. Uh, which one? My, huh? I, I, I guess uh, you are missing something. Have you eaten, have you eaten what? When how when coming, uh, when coming of my house, coming to my house. What are you missing? What What are you talking about? Like, so say the sentence again, and let's see if you're right. No, I I told him I told him about one sentences that I I said. For example, my my sentence is my brother will will have eaten eaten. Uh, when when he come uh, come at my house, we'll have eaten before he comes. When he comes to my house, okay. Uh, uh -huh. When he comes, okay. 
when he, he comes. To, when he comes to my house, yes. Uh huh. All right. Okay. Uh, what what about you, Miguel? Uh, okay. Uh, my sentence is, is my brother will have worked until this weekend. Worked, not work it, worked. Work, worked until yes. the weekend. All right, very good. All right, yes, that's how you say it. Good job. Okay. How are we doing, guys? Any I questions? I, no. I take control of this topic. Okay, right. ask me, I you know, ask me. What I'm do you need from me? I can I understand well. What what? Hello. And, um, and all right, I let me all right, let me help you. How do you how do you all right follow the structure? First of all, follow the structure. How do you make how do you create mm -hmm. a sentence first off? Go ahead. So, how do you create a sentence? Mm. What What is the structure, Juan? What is the structure? Uh, subject plus okay. will have. Do my favor. Follow the structure. Give me a subject. All right. Uh, for example, Let's have a subject. Mm, for example, um, he will have. Um, in this case, I, I invented. Yeah, it's okay. Will, I need to invent, he, right? He will have. Um, he take. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, well, why are you doubting? Okay, you're, you're doing good. What is it? You just need to follow the structure, right? He has uh, written is um, uh, all right. Let me ask you this in Spanish. Yeah. I think, okay, one is. ¿Qué, qué, qué, es lo, en lo, ¿Qué es lo que está dudando? Yo no entiendo qué, qué es, en qué está dudando porque te, te, te digo que siga la estructura y, le, y está siguiendo bien la estructura. Por right. ejemplo, y, y I can say he will have written is written is the past participle the right. Yes, yes, exactly. It's okay. Yes, okay. yes, exactly. And then is um, complement. Mm. Then you need a time reference, okay? The complement puede ser cualquiera. Eso quería decir. The complement is. It, it, remember, all right. I'm, I'm going to say something to you, okay? When we speak, guys, all right, we're speaking, okay? We're not making sentences, okay? Esto no es matemáticas, all right? Cuando quieres decirme, ah, habré llegado a casa antes de que vos vengas, right? You're not thinking about, oh, what is the structure, right? No. So it's the same thing, all right? You need to understand what you're talking about, uh, Juan. Tienes que entender lo que estás diciendo y, y ponerle congruencia a lo que estás diciendo. Si yo te digo, ya, yo habré escrito, ¿yo habré escrito qué? Right? ¿Qué um, me puedes decir, yeah. right? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. I have no idea. El sopos es tu mundo, right? Es tu oración, right? Es lo que vos querrás decir, right? Uh, so I don't know. Uh, un libro, un chiste, lo que sea, right? So turn that into English, transform it in English, and that's it. It's not It's not really complicated if you think about it like that, okay? All right? Mm. So how do you say, habré escrito un libro antes de que vos escribas uno? How do you say uh, that? For example, um, he will have written a book in one month. It was correct. I will have written that book in one month. I mean, yeah, you can say that. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to ask me if that's correct. Is that correct to you? Does that make sense to you? Tiene sentido para vos lo que vos dijiste? I will have written that yes, book in one month. Yes. 
So then it yeah. is correct. Okay, it is correct. That's it. All right. If it makes okay. sense to you, then it is correct. Okay. All right. Uh, good job. You're doing great, man. All right, Jocelyn. What do you think, Jocelyn? Uh, I think I have my five. Okay. Yeah. Creo que ya no quiero ir. <laughs> ya, ya, ya me arrepentí. No, I, what do you think, Jocelyn? About that, what? I don't know. Well, well, your example. Um, one of my examples, uh, my father will have good dinner for me before Sunday. Okay, my, fa my father will have cooked dinner for me before Sunday, okay? All right, that's a good one, okay? All right, see if it makes sense, right? If it makes sense, you know, it is correct, got it? All right, very good. Um, all right, continue guys, continue. Do you have any other question, Juan? Any other question? Or, or did we understand mm -hmm. now? I have a question. Uh, uh, the two events, and need to be different time in different time or it can be in sunday and like my father will have cooked dinner for me in sunday or on need sunday to be, on sunday sorry yes or need to be two events separate hey you can say you can say my father will have cooked dinner for me on sunday but if you notice it, it's an event after the other one right first sunday will arrive and then you cook dinner yeah okay right, right. Okay. so yeah it, it still makes sense so yeah i mean again guys if you don't have to think too too hard about okay I, is that grammatically correct if it makes sense to you what if what you're saying you know makes sense to you then you are absolutely fine all right so both of you good job okay all right i need five examples remember that All right, very good. This moment, yeah. or? Yes, 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 right now, guys. Oh. Five from you and five from one. Oh, okay. Uh, another, my daughter. No, no, but, but I mean, I, I needed to read, write them down. I mean, you're oh, not okay. going to. Yes, yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank oh, okay. You. Okay. My cell phone will have fixed after two days. Okay. Uh, Be careful with that sentence. Why? My cell phone will have fixed. Are you sure Repaired. that's correct? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> fixed, I don't know. You, you tell her, I know. One thing is, guys, try to see if it makes sense, if what you're saying makes sense, okay? All right, don't, don't try too hard to think about grammar. Think about, hey, does it make sense? Does this sentence make sense? All right, and go from there. Okay. So, it's that fix is for a car and repair is for a cell. No, no, no. I mean, you can use both. No, that's not the problem. You're saying my, my cell phone will have fixed. Yes, my uh, cell phone is yeah, it's broken. The problem is fixed. <laughs> no, 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 okay. guys. Okay, you're right. Guys, the cell phone cannot fix itself. All right? Uh, that is the problem. Will have be fixed. No, no, uh, uh, yeah. like by uh, by a person by animal. Yeah, I can yeah. I can say Rodrigo. Rodrigo will have fixed my cell phone after two days. Yes. Okay. There you go. We'll have fixed. Not fixed. fixed. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Good job, good job, good job. Uh, so I I confused. <laughs> I got confused. I got confused in the other one. <laughs> confused. My dog will have heal, healed after two months. Will have what? Eh, eh, sanar. Healed. Yeah. Healed. Yes. Oh. Healed. But healed. It it's correct or not? No. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, uh, Karen will have eaten a sandwich before starting the meeting. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Okay. All right, you're doing great, guys. You're doing great. All right, we're yeah. going to go back now, guys. We have to go back. Okay, teacher.
Bless you, teacher. Uh, you are I'm muted. Sorry, we can't hear. We uh, can't hear. All right. No, I was saying I'm allergic to your examples. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I you're good only... to your good examples. That's why I was dizzy. <laughs> I sorry. I, I yes, I'm you're really gonna... bad teacher. <laughs> you're gonna say something, Juan. Uh, and Johnny, wanna say, I, I only only write two examples. I only wrote wrote wrote. I examples. only wrote two examples. Okay. No, I was I was checking. I heard all your examples, guys. Okay. So you guys are fine. Now, um, I was telling some of you guys, guys, you have to make sense of what you're saying. Okay. I mean, it's okay, guys, to understand grammar. But at the end of the day, when you're speaking in real life, guys, you're not going to be thinking about grammar, right? You're going to be just talking naturally, right? So focus, guys. Focus on what you are saying. And that is the secret, you know? Focus on, focus on. What's that? What was that? So anyways, focus guys on what you guys are saying and, and uh, you'll, do, you'll do fine. Okay, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute you guys. All right, we're good. All right, guys, guys, um, so we're going to go over the the, um, the answers from the platform now, okay, uh, just because of the time, guys. But before that, do you have any question regarding this topic? Or was it clear, guys? Was it clear? All right. Yes. Very good. Okay, yeah. so we're going to tell me, tell me, tell me. Is it okay if I say I will have finished driving in about one hour? Yeah, you can say that. I won't have finished driving in about one hour. Yeah, you can say that. In negative forms, oh. right? In negative forms. Oh. Now, before before we finish, you guys, the topic, okay, there is something worth mentioning. If you want to make questions, guys, it follows the exact same rules as everything else. Okay, so if you want to make questions, guys, all you have to do is, what do you think? All you have to do, guys, is the auxiliary comes to the beginning. Will, will you have arrived? Will she have arrived? Will you have come back home? Got it? All right. So all you have to do, guys, is you move the auxiliary to the beginning. And that's how you make a question. All right. Very good, guys. So uh, now we're gonna go. To, um, we're gonna open the platform, guys, and you guys tell me what you need help with, and we're gonna we're gonna do them right now, okay? So you guys tell me. All right. So here we are in the platform, guys. So tell me. You got five minutes to tell me, right? Uh, the final exam. The okay? final exam, yes. So which one do you want? Wait me. Wait me doesn't exist, guys. <laughs> wait me is. Give me, 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 me a wait second. Me, wait me is there be me una mesa. Right? <laughs> Give me a second. In the number. Number, not number. No, little c. Little c, pequeño c. Okay, pequeño c, <laughs> little c. Letter c. Leather. <laughs> Leather. Uh, now you're now now you're saying uh, now, now you're saying leather leather is material. Guys. I went to the car. All right. Leather is uh like what the boots are made of. What do you call that in Spanish? Leather. This is what you're saying. Le Carta. Leather. Cuero. Oh, cuero. Yeah, you're saying cuero. Cuero se, right? So let's talk about it. Cuero se. Janet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no. Quite a say, quite a say, right? Let's go. The letter C. All right, so C, you say. Well, we're, we're down in C. What do you, which one do you want? Three, four, 
three and four. Three and four. So what is supposed to be the, the answer for, so who's got the answers guys? Who's got these answers? The, oh, the part number. Guys, I'm asking three. This. Okay, very good. Guys, I'm asking you, uh, who has these answers? Jocelyn, all right. So if Jocelyn has them, it means that, you know, there is something wrong that you guys are doing, right? So Janet, what is the answer for? So you have number one, okay. Janet, do you have your number yes, one? Yes, yes, is to check out. So which, which one is the one that you need? In the part three. Part three. three part four. three, okay, four. right. So two and four. Three. Three, three and three, four, okay, and right. Four. So what is the answer for this, Janet? I don't know. Tell me what answer do you have? Okay. Uh, one live. Will not live. Wait, I, I know I'm not understanding anything of what you're saying right now. Uh, will not lie. No, I mean, dear. Teacher, I wrote there, won't need, but it was wrong. All right, Jocelyn, what is, so you won't need a keyword because they'll be touch screen activated. Um, did you try future continuous? So yeah. what is what is the answer in future continuous, guys? We'll have, or oh, we'll have not need. Mm -hmm. What is future continuous, guys? What is the answer in future continuous? Uh, you will want. Ah, okay. You want, you want need. one need. You won't need. I so what, where, what is the answer here, Jocelyn? No, you want uh, be needing. You won't be needing, okay, or I won't be needing, okay. All right, so all right, I'll give you the answers, guys, because of the time, okay? Guys, won't need, it's super easy. All right, won't need, won't be leaving. So what happened here, guys? Did, did you not try? This is f simple future, right? I wrote won't need, but it was wrong. Mm, I think that you were wrong, and I'll tell you why. What is this, guys? What is this symbol? Take a look at the screen, guys. What is that symbol? What is that symbol? It's an apostrophe. I don't know. It's an it's apostrophe. Calling. If you have if you have a keyword in Spanish, you don't have an apostrophe. You have a comilla, right? You have a quotation mark. So a quotation mark is not the same as an apostrophe. If you do not have an apostrophe, that is the, the error. So if you want to get 100, guys, you need to copy the apostrophe from somewhere else. Okay, dale copiar y pegar la apostrofe and that's it. Okay. All right, got it? Yeah. All right, got it, guys? Got it, got it, got it? Luis? Yes, yes. Uh, yes Tell me, teacher. Jocelyn. Uh, I have problems in section B, the first one. Which, yeah. With which one, I'm sorry? Section B. Section B, okay, section B. And which one, the first one? The first one, yes. Yeah. All right. Do you know where I can? Yeah, yes. Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? That is the answer. Mm, okay. I have the same. Yes, but got wrong for me to add platform. Wrong, not not wrong. Wrong. Yeah, okay. we have the same. But I don't know what uh, happened. Uh, the number three, guys. I'm showing all of them here. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, make sure that you guys. I'm going to say this in Spanish. Asegúrense que no tengan espacios extras. Asegúrense que están escribiendo exactamente todo como está aquí, con capital letters and everything, okay? Todas estas son las respuestas, guys, okay? Uh, you can watch the video if you need the answers again. Pueden ver el video en el canal de YouTube, guys, si necesitan las opciones de las de respuestas de nuevo, okay? But this is, this is, this is, let's see, right? Voy a darle copy-paste a eso. I'm going to copy-paste of this. And let's see if it is wrong. No. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, hey. Coming up with, okay, hold on. Teacher, in uh, number please. five, period A, please. Cut down on. Right. 
Mm, okay. So this one right here, guys, okay. Um, you're right, Jocelyn. All right. It's, uh, hold on. I copied and pasted the answer, guys, and this is still wrong. Let's see, no extra spaces. So, so right here, guys, this is not gonna be your mistake, okay? The platform, it's wrong here, guys. This right here, right here, guys, okay, this is the right answer, but it is wrong, okay? So, yes, uh, I, I just, don't know what happened. I'm just gonna report it. it. All right, so you said number five, right? But it's only eight, one, guys. Um, five, five point eight puree. So this one, D? No, no. Which one? We have eight, one minute. You have one minute. Nolly, nolly shake. It's section five. Section five. Oh, section five, and which one? Guys, if you have the other answers, I, I guess everybody posts them in on the WhatsApp group, guys. Um, yeah, this is. So, okay. All right, let's go. No. And which one? Phi period A. 5.8. Okay. All right, I'm going to yeah. show the answers here. Okay, these are the answers. And three and four. All right, just take a screenshot. Just watch the video or take a screenshot, okay? So, easy peasy here, guys. Okay, we'll have discovered and we'll find. Okay. All right, anything else, guys? Oh, that's all right. All right, anything, anything else, guys? No, that's it. All right, uh, my apologies, guys, for the last one. Okay, there seems to be a, an error in the platform in one answer, guys, from the final exam. Uh, I cannot fix that, but I will, I will report it for you, okay? All right. Thank you, um, guys, with that being said, no, guys, not tomorrow. <laughs> uh, this is the last day, guys. Okay. Uh, I'm not. I, I. I don't know, guys, if I'll see you in the next module, but um, it's been great working with you guys. Okay. I that's think that you guys. Are. No, thanks to you guys. I think. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Shayan. Uh, a great opportunity, guys. <laughs> a great opportunity. And, uh, okay, yeah. Thank you. Bye, All right, everybody. Everybody. Bye, All right, I'll bye. miss you guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye. 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 See you guys. Finish the platform, right? Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you.